Between May and October of 2015, we made four trips to Haiti. We found a small apartment at the end of this long alley that will be our beachhead in Haiti. It's a modest, small, four-room apartment on the second floor of a private home in a very poor neighborhood, in the Peggyville section of Port-au-Prince. I was tempted to say slum instead of a very poor neighborhood, but in comparison to the many large slums in the city, such as Cité Soleil and Gerardoville, where Ecolot lived after the earthquake, this is a few notches above those slums. Nonetheless, it's still an extremely impoverished area where few have running water or jobs. Our rent is only $2,800 a year, which was paid for by a dozen people donating $233 each. These are our next door neighbors. They live on the second floor of an unfinished building. They have no running water. The family includes an infant child. The kids are always hungry. Our humble apartment became a microcosm of what we hope to do on a larger scale when we move into a permanent home for our center. Because they lived in such dreadful conditions, these one-year-old twins were so filthy we needed to bathe them before feeding them. Our narrow balcony became a beehive of activity, where kids gathered, where we prepared most of the meals, and where everyone ate. We fed six to ten kids three meals every day. The balcony also served as a classroom. At other times, the balcony became a painting studio. Occasionally, the balcony was transformed into a dance floor. The apartment became a place for smiles, laughter, games, and a place to be fed and loved. In a place where poor kids endure so many hardships and are forced to grow up far too quickly, we see the Santa Chiara Children's Center as a safe place for a kid to simply be a kid, to run around and have fun. After meals, the kids pitched in to do the dishes and mop the floors. At the end of a long day, it was time to get ready for bed.
Each night, four to six kids slept on the floor in the apartment. 